products on the web, check out rcdeal.com. This segment is sponsored by rcdeal.com. Thanks for watching. We are going to unbox the Buggy 8 RTR Electric Brush SA Scale Buggy. As you can see here in the box, we have two colors to offer and two part numbers, 14277 and 14278. Of course, the 77 number is going to be red and the 78 number is going to be the blue versions. You're going to see that here on the box, but you'll be indicated on a part number listing on the side of the box, of course, with the pricing and so on to show which one is red and blue. Of course, these are 2.4 gigahertz radio systems in there uh, with a fail-safe system. And this will be four cell operated plug and play programming. You won't have to do any programming, no program necessary on this with a 1900 kV motor. And everything is just about assembled for you. We'll open this box up and show you what's inside and show you the features of the car. So, pushing through. Of course, the box is in a sleeve, so we're trying to get the sleeve out. It's nice and tight in there. Put that in there. Stick this out corrugated box so at the end of the day throw your buggy back in there of course it's all boxed up ready to go you'll see the off the decal sheet that you're going to get in here and in the decal sheet you're going to have an antenna actually two antennas a short one and a long one and you're going to have the bind plug wire and also the fail safe pin in there so there's some important stuff in that bag along with the decals of course some of the car is already decaled up for you on the blue body and of course the red one and in here, you're going to have the radio box, which is right here. You'll be able to pull the radio out and see what you have. Of course, it is the 2.4 radio. Stand this up. Hmm. 2.4 Ofna direct sequence radio. And it'll take uh, four AA batteries in there. So you don't have to worry about driving eight in there. Lasts a long time. Of course, your switch and your indicators, of course, all the trimming is necessary on the radio there, if servo reversing and so, and some dual rate, and uh, of course the switch. So when you shut that down, you don't accidentally shut off your radio when you're operating it. Okay, as the buggy's coming out, of course the wing is not installed, and you'll have the wing itself. You'll get that on there a little bit later. The, buddies, the body is already attached, and you'll need to take the skin off. We have already taken the skin off our buggy. <clears throat> and of course the cardboard's pieces that are easy to remove nothing too difficult with that and the buggy itself with the wheels already installed and of course this is the way you're gonna get the buggy when you get it out of the box like I said it'll have a skin on it also a skin on the nose and you'll peel that stuff off if you want to add any more decals onto it so we'll peel off the body of course this is a cab forward design style body it's very low slung and so neat little blue paint job of course we'll have a red one for that if you want to pick and choose or race with your buddy and make sure that you guys don't lose track of each other and like I said, we had this modernized with a cab forward body, making it up to date with all the current buggies on the market. Okay, so looking down this car right now, of course, it has big bore shocks all the way around, and you're going to see those in aluminum set up on there where they offer nice up and down travel on it. And also, you're going to see at the very top of the shock, a shock guard so that you don't tear up anything up here on the top or scratch anything that you need necessary, especially for the shock caps themselves, and you don't have to go replacing those. Aluminum shock towers front and back, of course. The chassis itself is aluminum and everything's countersunk on the chassis. Now in the front of the car, of course, you're going to see CVAs and um, adjustable turnbuckles for the steering and for the upper camera links, of course. And of course, you're gonna see in there the modern style C-type hub suspension. Of course, with the caster settings in there, you'll be able to adjust that if you need to later on. And we will also offer some option parts to make the car a little bit stronger if you wish. Okay, sway bars also come on the car, front and rear. Of course, that is a really nice uh, thing for an RTR buggy to have. That is, this is almost like your semi-pro type of buggy. And also on the shocks itself, you're going to see some boots on there to keep the, du the dust and the dirt out of there for a while before you have to do a rebuild on there. Of course, you can see on the very front of the car the nice bumper on there and the Ofna indicator showing that you have purchased one of the best products on the market, of course. Now, we'll get to the middle of the car. You're going to see 
the toroidal speed control at the very top above the center differential. The center differential is going to have a steel spur along with a 16 tooth pinion that's going to be set up on there, mod 1 of course. So if you have any questions uh, on that, that is a mod 1 pinion. Also strapped to the mod 1 pinion, and we'll see if we can get a good, good shot of that. Yeah, we got a good shot right there. It is the Ofna 1900 KV motor. Lots of power, long barrel can, a thick barrel can as it is to prevent uh, less of overheating setup on there. Of course, there's plenty of torque and speed set up on to that. Um, and it should be a nice little toy to mess around with and go just cloning down the straightaway on your street. So we'll get to the other side and you'll see that the receiver box and the radio box um, has a couple of nice features on there. Of course, the radio box is enclosed and it'll keep the debris out of the receiver and some little extra moisture out of the receiver. Of course, the servo itself, you'll see if I tilt it up just a little bit, you're going to see that it actually says Metal Gear Servo, six kilogram Metal Gear Servo. So you're gonna get Metal Gear in there, of course, that prevents any of the stripping and the servo horn is pretty well strapped in there so you don't have to worry about that breaking off. Of course, we do offer an aluminum steering servo horn if you want one to make it even stronger in that particular section. Okay, so down the center of the car, you're going to see several different items. Of course, this is a two cell, two lipo battery pack on here. You're gonna see saddle packs on each side of the car behind the center differential. Of course, down in the middle of that chassis, you're gonna see the chassis brace and the speed control right down the middle of that. It also was set up with a Y plug indicator on there, which has the Dean's replicated plugs on there. You're gonna have those two two cells strapped into that. And then you'll have six Velcro straps, three for each battery pack in there to hold it down. Of course, we always want to say four cell. Six cell might be pushing to the extreme, and that's not something that we want to see. Of course, four cells already plenty fast enough for this 1900 kV motor. All right. Looking at the rear suspension, we'll do the quick shot of the rear suspension. Of course, we have stone guards for the rear, for the, for the rear of the suspension to keep any of the debris out of there. Of course, getting locked up or jammed, everything spits out of the front tire into the back suspension, and we want to kind of shroud some of that area so it doesn't get torn up. And we'll go over to the back, of course. We're showing the back itself. And the same thing applies as the front suspension has. It has a sway bar on the rear, and it also has camber link adjustments for camber settings or so. There are a ton of setups on here to set up roll center, of course shock positions on the shock tower itself, and also on the arm. The car is also being pushed by free rolling sealed bearings, of course, that is always a plus on any car. And, <coughs> excuse me, and also uh, boots for the rear uh, big bore shocks on there also. So these are C-clip adjustable ride height shocks, of course. We'll have C-clips in the bag for you to do the ride height on there. And of course, the other fancy addition is gonna be the wheels and tires that you're going to see here. The wheels and tires are a three pin type of tire. And of course, the wheel itself, you're going to see the six bolt white wheel on there to match with the white paint job that goes either blue, red, blue black, or white, or, or uh, red, black, or white, or so in a can on there. All the aluminum, of course, is done in black aluminum. Um, including the wheel nuts and the hubs themselves and of course that all matches together with either or color buggy and that is your brushless system of course for a fast running buggy 8 RTR and your white wing to go with it. So this is the unboxed buggy 8 RTR electric A scale and we will see you later on. This show has been sponsored by rcdeal.com so remember rcdeal.com for your rc auction and web store needs it's rcdeal.com